Welcome back to Yay Math and yaymath.org. We are at the YouTube studios in Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm with my friend Zach behind the camera. No, now you've got mythic status, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we're continuing our discussion about matrices, in this case, multiplying them. All right, so there is a system for multiplying these. It can be a little tricky, but you know, really after today, you're gonna be a lot better at it and you're gonna understand the process going forward, all right? So let's create a two by two matrix. Let's go with one, two, three, four. And then let's go over here, let's make up some numbers. Negative three, zero, uh, whatever, five and seven. Okay, so now we're gonna multiply these two matrices. I'm gonna call this A times B. Now, the temptation is to treat this the same way you would do addition. When I first saw something like this, I was like, oh, just like you add them, wouldn't you multiply one times negative three, two times zero, and do all that? No, it's not the case. Uh, what we really need to do is learn how to multiply rows by columns. So I'm gonna put that down. This means rows times columns. All right, I'll show you. First, we pick a row. There it is, one, two. And we multiply it by suspense, this column. Okay, and uh, let's see how that works. Okay. 1 times negative 3 plus 2 times 5. You'll notice that we go from this value, these two multiplied, plus move down, move along, and move down. So starting here, multiply these two, and add multiplying these two. So let's do that together. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, plus 2 times 5 is 10, negative 3 plus 10 is 7. That goes here. Okay, now we're back. Before we move, oh sorry board, <laughs> before we move to the next column, we have to, or basically, no, excuse me, before we move to the next row, we have to try to exhaust every single column that follows this, all right? So before we move down, are there other columns for us to use? Yes, there's this. So we take this off. Right. And now we're talking about this row by this column. Okay. 1 times 0 plus 2 times 7. Okay. So basically you don't want to move to the next row until you've exhausted every column for it. Again, stay on the row until you go column, column, column. When you finish the columns, then we can move down to the next row. All right. So here we are, 1 times 0, 2 times 7. That's 0 plus 2 times 7 is 14. That would go here. All right, we've exhausted every column. So we go take it off. And now we can go to the next row over here. And starting again, it's column 1. Here we go. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, plus 4 times 5 is 20, so that's negative 9 plus 20 is 11. That would go here. All right, and then we move on again to the next column. Take that off. Circle this. 3 times 0 is 3, plus 4 times 7 is 28. 0 plus 28 is none other than 28. Okay, rows times columns, all right? Let's do another one. All right, let's go negative two. Let's make different numbers. Okay, now look closely. We have some rows and we have some columns. Let's identify what type of matrix, th matrix this is. Rows first, then columns. So we see that there are two rows and there are three columns. So two rows by three columns, that would be a two by three matrix. And then doing the same thing over here, rows, three rows, two columns. So rows by columns 
would be three rows, two columns is three by two. So it begs the question, when you multiply these two matrices, if we want to call this one A and this one B, what would the, the dimensions of A times B be? And what would the dimensions of B times A be? Right? I know the answer, of course, I'm going to tell you, but let's actually try what A times B is and see what actually happens. Okay? Let's look at it. Let's see what happens. A times B. So in this direction. Rows by columns. Here we go. Whoop. And then here. All right, we got to get our arithmetic game tight. This is 1 times 5 is 5, plus 8 is 13, plus negative 3 is 10. Put it down. Do it again one more. 5 plus 8, 13, minus 3 is 10. All right, again, we can't move to the next row until we've exhausted every column. We'll take that off, focus on this column here. Here it comes. All right, I'm going to try shorthand now, or short word, if that is. Shorthand would be like this. 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1, plus 0 is negative 1. Moving here, negative 1. We've exhausted every column, so we can go to the next row over here and start over on this side. Okay, so now we're ready to move this down. And we're ready to start back over here, just like a typewriter, back to the beginning. Let's do it. Zero plus negative four is negative four, plus negative six is negative 10, coincidentally over here, just like negative 10. And then we got to exhaust the next column. Keep on our row. Put this on. All right, here we go. Zero plus negative two plus zero. Notice I'm progressing and progressing simultaneously. Zero, negative two, zero is negative two. So you can see that the resulting matrix is two by two. Now, could we possibly have predicted that? The answer is yes. It's kind of cool. I'm going to teach you something that really helped me figure this stuff out. If you're multiplying matrices, what's very important, two by three times a three by two. All right, this is really important, right? so perk up for this. If the middle two numbers are the same, that means the two matrices can be multiplied. Their dimensions are such that sometimes we told you that matrix, matrices may or may not be multiplied together, like it's possible sometimes and it's impossible other times. So if these two are the same, that means the matrices can multiply. All right? And if that's the case, the resulting matrix are these two numbers, two by two. There it is. That's the resulting matrix. <coughs> so kind of really cool rule of thumb, because that way you can compare any two matrices and see whether or not they can multiply here, and then also determine what the resulting is, which is a two by two, all right, in this case. What if, though, we wanted to multiply B times A. Would that be the same thing if we did B over here? It's an interesting question, right? Because in life we've learned that it doesn't matter the order in which you multiply stuff. Let's say 5 times 8 is the same as 8 times 5. But with regards to matrices, you'll see that that's not actually not the case. Right? I'll show you. Let's print this over here. We're bringing B over. So that's 5, 3, 4, is it 4, negative 2? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It's 4, 2. And it was um, 0, negative 1, 0. All right. I think I remember it being negative 2, but then I lost it, which is fine. So take this off. No 
Okay. And now to be clear, we're now talking about rows by columns. Three rows, two columns, and then two rows, three columns. Check that out. This is the key. These two matrices can be multiplied, and the result are these two. So the answer will actually be a three by three. We're not going to go through the entire thing. I'll just give you a piece of that process, and you'll see that it's not the same as multiplying A times B. In this case, B times A is not A times B, which is something very unique for matrices. So let's try it. Rows by columns. Rows by columns. All right. That's my new country album coming out soon. Rows and columns, columns and rows. I don't know, but I know that I'm grown. It's called near rhyme poetry. Five times one plus three times zero is five. Moving on to the next column. That's actually track two in my album. The next column is better than the first. Five times two, three times negative one. Ten minus three, seven. Let's finish out this column here. That's track three. Finish out the column before you move on to the next. Do your best, and then you will be blessed. Another near rhyme. Moving on. Five times three is 15 plus 18. 15 plus 18 is 33. The age of Jesus' death. So you'll notice that the three by three is starting, is starting to uh, coalesce. You'll do this row, and then this row, and then that comes here, and then that comes here. So A times B is not B times A. Very interesting. I hope that demonstrated it there. Six. Okay. So this one actually comes up a lot. Things like this. This is a two by two. We could see that. And now what is this? Rows by columns. Rows by columns. Two rows. One column. Boom! Can it be multiplied? Very good. And then the resulting matrix is a two by one as well. All right, two by one matrix is the resulting one. These two pieces of data. Rows by columns. I think you're getting the hang of it now. See that? Rows, columns. That would be negative one plus 12. Negative one plus 12 is 11. Boom. And now, do we have any more columns to exhaust? No, we don't, so we move down. Negative 3 plus 24 is negative 21. Oh, positive 21. Negative 3 plus 24, 21. All right, see that? So it works out every time. Let me ask you a question, though. If we move this over here, negative 1, 6. Erase. Right? In the books and stuff, in the practice, they say, multiply these two, comma, if possible. I always thought that was a very challenging tone. If it's possible, do it. If it's possible. What is this? Rows by columns. This is two by one. Rows by columns, two by two. Do these numbers link up? They don't. That means not possible. All right? For our French audience, there you go. Pas possible. Not possible. All right. Last one. We'll have some fun with this one. I think you'll like it. We'll do a two by one, rows by columns. <coughs> and uh, let's go one, two, three. So this is funny, right? Two by one, two by one, rows by columns. That's one row, three columns, one by three. It looks like these two can be multiplied. <laughs> I laugh to myself because it's so funny that these two can be multiplied and the resulting matrix is a two by three. Isn't that cray cray? It's like crayfish, all right? It turns out that when you multiply these two, you're gonna get a two by three box, which is pretty large, man. Does that not 
alarm you? Let's do it. Rows by columns. Rows, columns. Here it comes. Negative one times one is negative one. Next column. Rows by columns. Negative one times two is negative two. Negative one times three is negative three. Back, back. Rows by columns. Six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. There's your two by three rows by columns. It's kind of cool. There are calculator functions as well on the TI calculators that actually help you multiply these matrices. And uh, I'm going to actually show that on the next part of this video. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is awesome. Yay, math. I thought it helped. I hoped it helped. And Keanu Reeves, if you're watching this, Robert at yaymath.org. I can't wait to hear from you.